Recycling cardboard, paper, and plastic bottles, um, people already do that. I wanted to focus on something that really didn't exist in, uh, here in Morocco. So that's what I did. I came here, took some, with those pictures, I presented them to my um, advisor here. He agreed to letting me have three boxes for the people to put their waste in. And then what, after I got the permission from him, I went and looked up some recyclers here in Morocco. So then uh, those recyclers, I signed with them some conventions, which then allowed me to work with them and uh, they would come and help me uh, recycle those um, waste, the waste. Voilà, je t'apporte des batteries. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci beaucoup. My plans for the future, well, for the near future, I hope to be at the COP22 and have a stand there where I can show the benefits of recycling to little kids and families here in Morocco. And then for the, act, for the further future, I wish to actually continue studying sustainable development uh, in America and actually ha doing law, uh, so sustain um, ecological law, so that I can help my country have new laws and implement them in Morocco, so that people start getting aware that our planet is not going well and that we need to help. We need to help our planet to become a better place. Hello, Mr. Sebastian. Hi. Hey. Good. How are you doing? Hey. Good. How are you doing here? Yeah, nothing much. I just want to bring you to the night because you did a great job. She didn't write the poem, but she did the calligraphy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it's right. A teacher from quite a long time ago when I lived in Jakarta. Okay. We really love to see children um, identify something that they're passionate about and uh, follow that passion through with action. And we believe in project-based learning. And uh, Camille's project is something that's going to give him great opportunities to exercise what he's learning in the classroom beyond the classroom and, uh, and apply skills that he's learning in the classroom in a real life context. So it, it's, it's a perfect project-based learning opportunity for him. Saving the planet and how um, by recycling, we're not doing some recycling. Okay, and this is the reuse of, uh, I guess, toxic materials. So some pictures of it, I'm saying right now. Yeah. I'll make okay. sure to read them. <laughs> 